Alright guys, that one came in pretty good. Oh, holy crap, almost killed her, man. I, I went a little bit too far out and this time of day, you can't really tell which way uh, orientation wise. I can't see the bright green on me, I can't see. So, uh, <laughs> almost lost her out there, but I brought her in. It's a little rough landing. Uh, wasn't super rough. Um, she has the built-in shocks that help absorb most of the most of that hit, but she did bounce uh, maybe one or twice, once or twice. So, as you can see, she's looking pretty good. Still alive. Nothing scratched. Wasn't my smoothest landing, but <laughs> my heart was pounding so bad. You guys don't even know. But um, so anyways. Uh, Hopefully I could uh, tweak it out a little bit more. I needed uh, a little bit right trim. As you can see, I don't, I don't think you can see my screen there, but let's see if you can zoom. As you can see, it's a little bit, oh, I know that's the rudder. Actually, not too bad, not too bad. It's pretty, pretty balanced out. But uh, let me just at least show you guys taxi. <laughs> Like I lost control of the wheel somehow. I don't know what happened there. Maybe the, ter the servo stripped or something. Strangely, I was able to bring her back in, but I don't know. Actually, you know what? I see what happened. The wheel came off, so it's unable to turn. All right, so, uh, so far so good. She comes in real nice, floats good. Um, a little bit of tweaking. She should be moving pretty quick. So, uh, get her to the. Get her to my stand here. So fix the wheel. And, uh,. Happened, but I still got control surface, but my rudder is. Uh -oh. uh oh, I think I stripped my. Yeah, stripped my servo. But uh, let me unplug this real quick. Before I do something real bad to the rest of the system. I think you heard that weird sound. It was kind of like a motor. I think the servo got stuck in a certain position. See how aggressive that turn is? It probably got jammed and it couldn't turn back. So likely it's stripped. Um, battery doesn't feel hot at all. I had to actually put extra tape here just in case the canopy flew out. I didn't want that to happen to me. And, I need really need to find a way to uh, attach my magnets better. See that that magnet popped out. I got metal plates underneath that can a bit to hold it, but uh, the magnet popped out and uh, it's in here somewhere. I tossed it and then I got some velcro here, which holds the front. But I just didn't trust. I just taped it. She doesn't look good, but that's not how she's normally gonna look. I'm gonna. Put all magnets but you know when you just got to get this thing flying you want to uh, just do temporary fixes like taping the canopy on just so you don't lose the canopy during flight it's the worst thing is you lose your canopy and then you know then you're in trouble then you're over there trying to see which way the canopy fell and at the same time you end up losing your plane so you don't want that to happen i've had that happen to me too many times so I'll put the mag uh, the phone down real quick. I can uh, take this battery out. Take this 
battery out because we don't need it anymore. At least not in here. Oh, geez. Okay, and then uh, see how I designed this. I designed this with two four millimeter banana plugs just in case I want to stack two of my other four cell batteries in here. You know, that way I have flexibility whereas I'm using just one big Turnigy 5000 4S I can use probably like two of these in parallel 2.65 2, 2 4S which I use on my other planes so I just make this kind of connection just in case I feel like using my other batteries for it but um, so far so good CG is good um, <laughs> oh man, I wish I had it on film, but there were a couple instances there where I was really, 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 really nervous because the plane was, I couldn't tell which orientation it was, and it was getting real close to the street, and I was like, oh my god, thinking to myself, here goes a B2 right in the streets, if it gets rammed over, it's about $200 worth of gear here. And um, I'm not even counting the foam. I'm talking about electronics alone, and then another what 30 hours to build the damn thing. So um, wasn't easy, but um, seems to be doing pretty good. Uh, let me show you guys the belly fin. You can see where my hand is. Actually, and put this foam down real quickly. Too bad I don't have a, a helmet cam or anything like that so I have to kind of uh, put my phone down just to record this stuff but here you go as you can see I got uh, little cheater fins on the bed of it seems to keep her nice nicely tracking straight and from side slipping on the turns I got about three what I call skegs kind of like a surfboard like the fins you'd find on the surfboard would keep her tracking straight. As you can see, my wheel popped out somehow. I'm gonna have to glue it. These wheels pop out way too easy for whatever reason. But, um, I gotta fix that servo now. But, that's the worst case scenario with the servo, then it's no big deal. Um, I really should have put a Meta Gear servo on there. I was being stupid and I just put in a cheap plastic 9 gram servo in there which obviously couldn't handle even one flight it wasn't even the worst landing too but anyways um, those are my little skates underneath that for a vertical less tail fin uh, wing a um, little bit of cheetah roof for you guys there if you guys uh, think about building a B2 definitely a good idea because um, I don't have the clamshell riders, you know, the ones they have on the real B2. I'm thinking about making that, and uh, I don't know how to make that, but definitely we'll figure it out. But um, anyways, let me flip this over real quick. So you guys get a... Uh, Finishing look of the B2. I'm gonna put it on the ground because you can't really see her very well on the stand, could you? Yeah, I can't really see well on the stand, so I'll put it on the ground. Um, hopefully, I can make a second flight. That was the maiden. Unfortunately, you guys didn't get to see it, um, but um, she did maiden, and obviously, you can see she's alive. A little uh, damaged uh, servo. I should have put a Metal Gear servo on there. Um, but then she came out great. I didn't scrape the wingtips or nothing. Just a uh, touchdown, a little bounce, bounce, and that was it. Um, I don't have my cameraman with me, obviously, so I couldn't record the maiden, but she pretty good, guys. So uh, maybe get this in production. If any of you guys are interested in one, let me know. Uh, figure out a way to make it feasible and affordable of course and uh hopefully as soon as i guess she her out and um she's gonna be pretty rock solid so till next time this is Dez, uh with evolve rc